All right, so after getting nagged to death, well, not really. They done me a favor anyway. I couldn't imagine being in the middle of extracting a half a ton of honey and that thing right down to die on me. Uh, people have uh, let me in on the little deal that running that particular motor on a router speed control will burn up the, I don't know, what do they call that, the primary winding? I've never messed an electric motor before, you know, as far as winding one. Nor do I quite understand, but apparently it's like a low gear that the motor kicks in starting up and then it switches to high gear. If you remember, if you look back at that last video I posted when I put that on there, you can hear that transition back and forth as I was running it up and down here. Well, now, now I got something that'll work. I busted open a treadmill and took out the guts and I got this little baby set up temporarily right here to run. I also, one of the reasons why I mounted it here too is to, I need to take, get this spinning and hit it with the angle grinder and cut into this. I actually make my own pulley, that's what it would amount to in that, because this had a, a belt with little grooves in it like that, you can see. This flywheel on this thing is cool. Another thing... Yeah, that'll mess with your head, won't it? Watch this video. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me get a macro of that. Alright. Fifty nine hundred and fifty RPMs. It's a DC motor. Yeah, fifty nine hundred and fifty RPMs. So this thing, this circuit right here, probably cuts it back to around I don't know, two thousand maybe. Surely it can't turn that fast. I don't see how in the world a human being could run fast enough to keep up with it. I know when it was on the the mill, it was all I could do to to uh, to uh, to keep up with it in, I don't know, about three quarter high speed, but anyway. It's got beautiful speed control as is, but by the time I step it down by six, this is the thing making all the racket. But this thing should be designed to run like that forever. I don't know whether that's... I believe that's a tick over 2,000 RPM. That's my only gripe. See, that thing will come back in. And another cool thing, what I was getting ready to say, is that thing will come back in when it senses the motor slows. Listen. It goes again. Alright. What will make this a perfect uh, honey extractor motor is that... Yeah, right there. That's what I was looking for. If you, if you put a load on it and stop it, that thing will send more and more and more and more power to it until it gives it enough power to turn again, see? All right, coast it right down. Watch. And it'll keep throwing power to it until it... Uh, until it does whatever it takes to get it turning. That's why it'll make that a good uh, a good extractor motor. Perfect stuff. So, now all I gotta do is uh, 
Yeah, redneck engineer this thing up under that. They'll sit right there and hum right along all day long. Ain't that cool? All right, enough of that boring garbage. Let's see what we can do here. So I took the angle grinder while it was running and held it against it and cut out a little track for the belt to go in. Held the old uh, belt, sand the belt against it to polish it. And so, yeah. I'm about ready to start trying to fasten it underneath this thing now. All right, peoples, this is what we got. It take me for just I don't know, a couple hours messing with this thing. There's that little slide. I believe that that's as fast as I want that thing to go right there. So what I'll probably do that nice and quiet. When I make a little wooden housing for this uh, slide switch, I'll make a stop. Make the slot for it stop right there so that it won't go any faster than that. And I think I'm going to mount that little slide switch somewhere right in here. Slide it up like that. And I believe I took a little clip to show y'all underneath here. kinks worked out of it so I can actually use the thing this year. That little transformer or choke or whatever you call it that goes with that motor, it doesn't even, none of that even gets warm. It can sit right there and run like that from now on. Nothing gets warm. So that constant buzz you hear is that thing running but it's not, <laughs> evidently it's not in a bind because it's not even getting hot. That ought to be turning fast enough to sling honey out at a maximum speed. Alright, battery's about to die. At least it let me do this much.